give you one from, uh, from my career. It was my first leadership challenge when I became, uh, I had been senior vice president, which at that time was the highest level of public relations. Subsequently, executive vice president was created. But I was a reasonably new senior vice president. Um, and our chairman died unexpectedly two days before our annual meeting. And <laughs> this is a crisis. And there, was, there were all of the issues around the uh, openness or privacy around why and how he died. And the biggest question was, would we or would we not hold our annual meeting? And it fell to me to present the options, not from the point of view of could we do it logistically, which is somebody else's job, could we do it legally, which was somebody else's job, could we deal with the investor relations materials and mechanics, which was somebody else's job, my job was, should we have the meeting? <laughs> and I went to our overnight newly elected chairman, and we sat down for a couple of hours and talked about the difference, in my view, between projecting stability and continuity and um, caring and content by holding the meeting and rapidly launching his leadership and establishing his competence as opposed to the issues of respect and caring and more time to think things through if we didn't hold the meeting. We went through all these options and I strongly recommended holding the meeting you know, and working basically around the clock to get this thing off the ground, and we did. And it made a huge difference. Um, and there are lots like that. They happen all the time. If you hadn't had held a meeting, what do you think the results would have been? I think it would have taken a very long time for the new chairman to get established. And I think uh, from an investor point of view, I think we would have taken a, a hit, uh, particularly think about that today. Um, and I believe from an employee point of view, we would have suffered dramatically because we would have had more mourning for a brief but very well-loved guy with a cooler temperamental kind of guy taking over. We would have had more mourning and less acceptance of the changeover. And I think everything would have taken longer. And again, one of the key things in corporate public relations is get the large institution to act quickly. It's so slow. And by virtue of doing this, I think we got everything done faster and built a lot more confidence in the new chairman a lot quicker and had only a, a very short-term blip.